What's up, Fight Fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. It's your host, Billy, here. It's your boy, t John. And it's time to take it to the ring. All right, so on this episode, we're going to be reviewing WWE Raw. So I think it's only, with all respect, it's only appropriate to start off with the big news. Yeah, Razor man. Ramon, yeah. Oh, man, the bad guy. Big yeah, like, loss of the wrestling world. Yeah, huge, huge loss, man. I mean, like my one of our, my favorite things that we used to do in college, me and my cousin, because my cousin was my roommate, we used to just say that all the time. Just like, well, like hello to the bad guy. Just like, just stupid stuff like that. He was a really awesome wrestler, a great yeah. persona. A lot of people have now, I mean, you see it a lot in these new age wrestlers have kind of taken that persona and made it their own, you know? Yeah. So a lot you know, to thank from him. I think in a big way, he made kind of the idea of a bad guy what it is. And it's okay. He yeah. relished in being a bad guy. And it's okay to be likeable. bad. Yeah. So that's literally how it changed was. the game. Big loss, you know, thoughts and prayers to uh, the rest of his family. And yeah, they did yeah, a great, he... great little segment for him. Yeah. It was WWE did a great job. Most definitely. What's up, Joseph? I see you, bro. Good morning, man. Good morning. Yeah, man. Good morning. But yeah, so let's get into some some better stuff. A really right good episode it. of Raw. Most guys. definitely. Most definitely was a great episode. You know, I was more than happy with Kevin Owens trash talk even more, you know, like I just, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving how he's been coming out with the ether. Oh and yeah, man. He's super Digging happy in. because he finally got, you know, what do you say? He was the happiest Canadian camper since, you know, Steve Boston finally, um, you know, he finally accepted that call out. So he's going yeah. to WrestleMania. He got his ticket. Oh, yeah. And he uh, he's not affected by the trash talk at all. You know, Steve Austin said he's going to open up a can of whoop ass and yeah. KO laughs about it. He said oh, yeah. he's going to he he's going to drink a beer, even though he doesn't like beer. Just <laughs> and it's going to be a Canadian him. beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely getting some good strife going. I like it. Oh, yeah. I'd rather see a, a Texas Canadian beef than a Russian American beef right now. So, oh, yeah, it's a little refreshing. <laughs> it's a little refreshing because that's everywhere right now. Yeah. And how about that stunner that he hit on the cameraman, bro? Dude, like, I, I was not expecting that. He kicked him in the nuts and then hit him with a stunner. <laughs> and then he, like, flipped upside down. He was so discombobulated. Oh, man, yeah. He was, guy. like, folded, like, backwards. It was it was pretty rough. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Hopefully Prep he gets a bonus. Guy. Yeah, hopefully because that was a hell McMahon, of a stunner, man. Take care of him. <laughs> Please. Please do. But – we got to see the very first match, and it was Finn Balor and Damian Priest. And what about Damian Priest's new music? Man, I, I, you beat me to it. I love his uh, entrance, man. It was great. You know, yeah. Finn Balor's, it was a great entrance, too. I love his entrance. Oh, yeah. He looks fantastic in that belt, man. It fits him. That belt Definitely looks fits. great on him. And, I mean, I wasn't really a fan that Austin Theory came out again. He's been doing He's just been going from promotion to promotion. You know, just like being Any with bit the he can get. Yeah, where, he's, going, he's giving he himself that screen time. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, man. Love the yeah, music man. and entrance for Priest. Yeah, that was fantastic. The music and entrance this. was great. Yeah. Definitely great. And this was a but good match. It was a good match. I, I mean, got I had Baylor beat the there you hell go. out of him. The whole that was time. a hell of a kick, man. Bell Dude. ring, and he just came rock editing out with that yeah. big shotgun drop kick. That's literally how it started. Right before the bell rang, he's just <laughs> running over like Jorge Masvidal. And as soon as the bell rang, just <laughs> boom, just right into his chest. And, I mean, that was really the tell of the whole match. He just was furious with Damian Priest. Because, I yeah, mean, was. Damian Priest has been, has been fucking with him since he took the belt from him. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, it was some shady stuff last week. They had a legitimate mm -hmm. match. It was a good match going. And it got interfered interfered with. And that was the first time in a while we've seen a DQ in WWE. They've been kind of steering away from that for the most part. And they ruined a really good match I wanted to see. So yeah. I don't blame him for being pissed off and wanting to get some revenge. So Exactly. 
Hey, Damian took a minute up. for Damian Priest to wake up too, but he like he was able to like do that leg sweep, hit him in the apron, and then threw him just like he's been doing on the on the broadcasters booth. Man, that was one hell of a toss. Yeah. That was he hit pretty hard, man. Do Do you see the um the Hulk Hogan impersonator back? Oh there yeah, too? I've seen him in a few episodes, man. I don't know if it's just somebody else that likes to dress up like him. Or it's a traveling fan. Because there are some fans that go to all the matches. They travel yeah. all over the country. And yeah. you can see, like, some of the signs I've seen for months now in yeah. almost every episode. Yeah, I, I've noticed him, too. And I saw, I, like, at a point where I was I'm like, dude, he's in a lot. Or, like, yeah. I have no idea. But, yeah, I don't know where they're going to go with, you know, Theory's involvement either. Because he's just, like, there. He's kind of like a gnat when it comes to Finn Balor. Anytime Finn Balor's in the ring, Austin Theory's got to get in somewhere. You know what I yeah. mean? But, yeah, man, That'll this a was a great, match. great match. Finn Baylor beat the hell out of Damian Priest, in my opinion. And, I mean, this shotgun kick, that was about to end it all because that coup de grace is coming, you already know. Yep. But Austin Theory takes off the headset, comes over to, like, you know, um, distract. Right and when to. he comes down, Damian Priest almost choke slams him, and Finn Baylor just has an answer for him. Like I said, Damian Priest really couldn't do anything. Yeah. He ate that kick, man. And then right after that, what spun around and went oh. right after Theory, man, and gets his own shotgun the drop. Shit dude. out of it, man. Yeah. <laughs> he sent like, him yeah flying. You'll think twice. You'll definitely I sat think down, twice. Yeah, I saw that on the couch and I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't think he got up for a while. <laughs> no, he was down. Oh, he, yeah. he kicked him. He kicked the crap out of him, man. Yeah, and I did notice that too. Didn't um Damien say, "Hey yo"? A few people did in this episode. Yeah, there was a lot yep. of Scott Hall tributes. I, I heard a couple of them. Yeah, most definitely. But Damien Priest snuck that win out because after that shotgun kick, he thought it was all good. He rolls back in the ring and gets hit with that reckoning finisher. It's all over, baby. And t tell me, that was not one of the prettiest reckonings you've seen. It was oh, yeah. almost picture perfect. It was like the only move that we saw from Damian Priest, though, so yeah. it had to be good. And I was shocked that he caught it. It was just it was off a distraction, and he just pretty much got lucky. And the fact oh, yeah. that Finn walked into that, he should have known better. I think oh, it was because exactly. he was dominating throughout that whole match. He let his guard down, and Damian took full advantage of that, man. That's exactly what happened. I 100% agree. That's exactly what, um, what happened. Finn Balor does have the best shotgun drop kick. I definitely agree with that. And that and, coup de gras stomp. I mean, Priest ooh, ate one of them. Not the he did. Like, and a big stomp flat ground off the off the mat. Yeah, yeah this I agree with that, Joseph. He, yeah, he needed need that, that win. win. Yeah, he needed that win. I don't know where they're gonna go. You know, I don't know where they're gonna go with it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Demon Priest and Demon Baylor yeah. at WrestleMania. I'm cool with so. it. I really yeah. am. Oh, you, you know, know and I thought this it. was the the t a title match at first. So when I saw him take the the three count, I was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe that!" And then it clicked. I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, okay, this they were just they were just fighting. This was his bar." So yeah, yeah, no, I, I thought so too because I was like, "Wait a minute, that was too easy for a title match." Yeah, I expect title matches to be like thirty minutes. You know yeah, what I mean. So, so yeah, this... I was I was a little surprised too. So when it was, I was like, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I took a big sigh of relief and I was like, most okay. definitely. And you what know, was with this nonsense? Had to get his ATL down and yeah. Nonsense, man. He's yeah. okay. Cut the selfie stuff out, man. We're, <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Just cut the selfie stuff out and quit picking on four thin, man. That's not cool. Leave you gotta pick somebody else. Stay with Pat. <laughs> Let's see this whole Pat McAfee thing go. Like, yeah, yeah, man. It's time. It's time. Title rematch at Mania. Did they call it? Is that really what's happening? Or do we I don't think disagree? it's official, but I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, it. and it better be Demon. Demon it better be Demon yeah. time. Demon oh, versus oh, oh. Demon, man. I need we, Demon we need versus that. Demon. Yeah, yeah aftermath that, annoyed. Yeah. I think the aftermath annoyed everybody. Yep. Nobody yep. needed to really see it. I like the finisher. I gotta say, I like the finisher. I like. Yeah, so do I. Over. It's kind of like a modified F uh, F five, except he's yeah, bringing just it down like a knee a, at the end. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Right into a neck breaker. Yeah. So it takes strength, and you're tossing them and making them look silly. I think it's cool. Yeah, and yeah, man, we're all pretty sad still about it. Yeah, but you know, yeah, I mean, we opened up with that. I have yeah. to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nadula. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, man. In a week, it'll be right back. It goes say, Billy's so been doing some spring changing, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> now it's every now and then, man. I, I gotta. It gets too much, and then the wife complains. She doesn't like it. I get you. I get you for sure. That's why I try to keep this maintained. I just shaved the cheeks part. That's all. Yeah. 
because I finally got a beard. Too fast, man. I did it, something it really that my does. dad never could do. I got a full oh, beard. Throw it in. Yeah, man. I finally did it. <laughs> I'm fighting. I'm starting to get like chest and neck. It's starting to grow ah, together here. No, <laughs> no, I'm not there yet. I don't want to be oh, there. Bad. You don't no. want to be. It's not. Yeah, a good God, thing. no. Yeah, but Demon Baylor is perfect for Mania. I 100% yes. agree. That's gonna be entertaining, man. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh, look, you it. got a comment too. Look, they said you look good. Looking cool. All yeah, right. There you go. Thank you, sir. There you go. All right, but next up, bro. Yeah. So you know, Seth Rollins been moping around, man. And do so it. you know, he, he they had to ask him, "What you gonna do?" Yep. And that suit he was wearing, man. At all. That were that suit reminded me of. Uh, uh that tom cruise movie like what was it easy money or something like that uh i was like man that suit he's he's going all the way back to the 80s man yeah that was actually the dullest suit we've seen since like ever it's been a yeah. long time i know that's why that i had to say like something regular suit. i was like what's going on man yeah. risky business that's what it was that's what i was thinking of ah there you go risky business yeah i, it was I swear like he didn't tom put cruise no effort in like that suit at all this time usually you know he comes out with some flair that was nothing yeah. That was a boring suit. You could tell he's depressed. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. He is not himself. But what about wow. this one, bro? Amos okay, so Commander this was a cool Aziz. match. I like this match. I this was too. a pretty cool match. Look I how, did too. <laughs> but, look how big Omos looks in that picture. Yeah, compared to, <laughs> um, what's his name? Um, Apollo Cruz. Apollo Cruz, yeah, man. That's... Did you see him palm his head at the end? <laughs> I like did. a basketball. That was fantastic. Jesus like Christ. But yeah, this was supposed to be Amos's biggest challenge. He's is yet to get a nod for WrestleMania for whatever reason. And I didn't think that he would, man. I still don't know because who is going to beat him? We saw this being like it was pushed as his biggest challenge. Commander Aziz is just as big. Well, not just as big. He's a little smaller still, but he's the next, biggest one he's... next to him. Yeah, this he was for a while. Challenge. He was the big guy. It here for a while until Omos came back and started getting kind of a taught by AJ, you know. So and he's man, Omos is getting faster, he's getting cleaner, and he made Commander Aziz look silly, man. He yeah, really he really did. And yeah, the match was pretty short, but I don't know what you could do. I really yeah. don't know what else you can do in these kind of matches. Like this was a clash between Titans. It was just, you know, they were muscling each other around. Commander yeah. Z had some good moments, but Amos is just too much, man. Amos so, is just too much. This this match is this is how big guys <clears throat> fight, man. You're not going to see a bunch of acrobatic aerial moves and counters and grappling yeah. and so, that's not how big guys fight. They're big, you know. They that's how that's their style of fighting. They've yeah. just been big their whole they life. They just use their size. That's all they've yeah. had to do. So they don't need technique. But give it to Commander Z. He was using some technique. He had some good ring awareness. Pulling yep. him on the ropes, he, like he had some more. He had way more technique than Omos, but it can mm -hmm. only get you so far when you get when you get caught up in the moment. Because all wow. it did was it was one mistake that Commander Aziz made, and that was trying to lift up Omos and do a suplex. And as soon as he did that nonsense, I mean the reversal. Got, it, that, it was a beautiful reversal, and oh, I was yeah. like, "Good on you, Omos. <laughs> that was clean." And then put him up into this almost vertical suplex. Yeah. I mean, Look at that. Holy cow. Doing I mean, that to he's, somebody. They said he's like Commander is over 320-something pounds. Yeah, I think they said it was like 320 or 340, something yeah. like that. It's that's, ridiculous. That's huge. And, he and just then to pick him, him up. Like, this is not an easy move to make, and Amos is just doing it like it's child's play. Yeah. And think about how high he is. It's it's not like he picked him up three, four feet. He's yeah. a good six feet in the air, man. That's That's a crazy lift. Absolutely insane. He dropped him. The whole ring shook, man. I thought it was going down. Wow. And then to follow it up with his signature double-handed choke slam Loved for it. the pin. I mean, come on, man. What more could you ask for? How much that, more yeah. dominant could you be? He's dude, so after. I don't know if you got, got a picture of Amos after he hit that suplex. He had this like shit-eating grin of shock on his face. He yeah. was giddy. He was like happy he believe he hit he that. He was like. <laughs> yeah, he just did a suplex on a seven foot man. Who wouldn't yeah. be like, yeah, I just did that. Yeah, he was just like, oh my god, it worked. I can't. I wow, that was cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's funny because when you say like Amos is over four hundred pounds, yeah, and you wouldn't like he looks like he is, but it's not a fat four hundred. Yeah, he's a exactly. built four hundred. Like think of the Big Show, 
how, yeah. how much thicker he is versus Omos. It's and ridiculous. Yeah, that's that was it was that was a cool match, man. That was it really definitely cool. was. And to your point, Joseph, he did hurt Cruz next. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what he did. Like me and yeah. Billy were talking about, he just palmed his head, brought him in, and he gave him some some choke slams too, just because. Because how dare you be next to him? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Poor just, Apollo. I'm going to show how dominant I am. It, yeah. that was, it cracked me up when he picked him up on the top of that. That was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Me too, man. <laughs> but what is Good it? Stuff. So what are we? Wh- who do we see him face at WrestleMania? Because he should yeah. go, but who's going to make the match fun? Like, You know, that's such a good question. I don't I, – I, it's so hard to think of somebody that's not already in a match that's going to have the skill and strength but also the speed to be able to beat him. That's what it's going to take. You're not going to beat him with just a fast guy. You need somebody that's going to be fast and they're going to be good. And exactly. I, I don't know, man. I, th- that's, I mean, that's, that's tough. Yeah, that's I the really tough thing know. that I've been – I think that everybody's racking their brain because, yes, he deserves to go to WrestleMania. He hasn't lost yet. He has been literally dominating everybody in under two minutes. Um, hopefully we get a battle royale, yeah. That would be the only way. But who in the battle royale is going to like – like, who are they going to put? Because, like, he's literally beat every single person. Like, Commander Aziz was probably the challenge. Yeah. So the only way that I see this going, like, to WrestleMania is it has to be some sort of handicap match where Amas is kind of written to lose. And hopefully he still does, like, kind of come back. But the odds have to somehow be against him. Because right yeah, now, there is no envisioning way for him to lose, especially yeah. in a singles match. We got to see a, another big guy. It's going to take like a Roman Reigns or a Brock Lesnar to be able to, to, to fight him. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's what Andre it's going to take. Andre the Giant Battle Royale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, Rick Boogs? Ooh, no, don't do that to uh-uh, Rick. Oh man. Yeah. I like Rick Boogs. Don't do not do that to him. He's no. big, he's fast, but I see him getting caught by the big yeah. old hands. All it takes is one. All it takes yeah. is one. So, yeah, I like this one, though. I do like Joseph's. So maybe a three-on-one. I think a yeah, three-on-one would be ha- the best. Yeah, handicap match is where it's got to go. It has to. It has to. And the two-on-one did, definitely didn't work when the Hurt Business tried it. Um, So, we need – I mean, maybe you can say mm, – I was gonna say Rick Boogs and Shinsuke, but that's already a match for one and two. That would not, that wouldn't work. Boogs is winning a title, one hundred percent. Hell yeah! yeah. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Let him I don't want to see him get <laughs> murdered. Little. I like the, tra- I like the trajectory he's on. Don't ruin yeah. him right now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. later. I don't want to see that. You yeah. know, um, Sami Zayn, he'd be a good match for him. He's smart Ooh. enough. He's fast yeah. enough. He's strong enough. But again, all it takes is the one time. I think it'd be a funny ass whooping. Yeah, he he yeah. would he would be the one smart enough and quick enough to try to wear Omos out because he's not going to be able to hang for 30, 40 minutes. He's not exactly. He I mean, this one, to. if it's going to be a five on one handicap, then it would be like for like the twenty four seven title. That would be the only way that you yeah. would it, it like, would be incorporate a bunch of them because it's it's like what five or six of them. And yeah. they did. They did interfere with the match with Reggie when Amos beat beat the hell out of Reggie that one time. Oh, do you think he's going to get the twenty four seven championship belt? I think that that would be the easiest route. But then the twenty. But then we would get our wish because then the twenty four seven title will not matter anymore, and it'll be dead. <laughs> so nobody actually, can now beat that him. Said that. Please make that happen. Right? Give How can five people hold dodge. the title at once? Huh? I said, how can five people hold the title at once? And that's what it's going to take to beat him. Exactly. Exactly. He's going to walk out with that title if that's what they do at WrestleMania. So that could be it. Heard it. Heard it here first. Maybe 24. Matchmakers. WrestleMania matchmakers. Hire me and Billy. Because clearly all it takes (laughs) is some brainstorming and we got this. Because that's a match. And Nadula and Joseph and Manchu. We all kind of all brainstormed together. Right. Yeah. Some brain power. I like it. Yeah. Guys, that was a cool match. Definitely check that out. Omas is getting better. I love. He's getting it. way better. He's. I like it. It's good. It good. Good for him. Yeah, I'm trying to tell my boy Noah because he still thinks he's silly. I'm like, he's getting better though. No, he he's getting, getting better. better. He's. I'm not. I'm not saying he's good yet. He's. I'm saying he's getting better, man. He. He used to be silly, like goofy. When he was with yeah. AJ, man, he could not wrestle. He was super goofy. I just laughed. 
watch it, man. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, so I mean, but this is the same thing that would happen if Amash wins it. Yeah. If Amash the gets the twenty four seven belt, he's just gonna like melt it and like that'll be it. And yeah. like make it like some teeth caps or something. Just retire <laughs> the title. Like I love it. Yeah. I love that. End I want it. that to happen. But he just sits on his throne exactly. waiting for somebody. Exactly. Then we get to see this. Some more Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens, and you see he's a lot happier now. Kevin Owens tries to help, you know. He's yeah. like trying to break. It was a great pep talk. Him. Yeah, just a little quick pep talk, and yeah. then the wheels start turning in Seth Rollins' head, and we're gonna get more into it. But I wanted it. I wanted to run the format a little different so that you see the pace of the entire show. And we're gonna yeah. Just go over this the is entire this show is uh, Seth Rollins' epiphany. Yes, he's like, that's it. I got it. I got it. And, and Kevin Kevin was giving him like, some yeah, good pep talk. And yeah. like, oh. Poor him. He didn't even realize how he helped. <laughs> but next up, yeah. Liv Morgan and Queen Zelina fight. And uh, this was an imp impre another impressive showing from Queen Zelina. I'm very impressed with her fighting style. Yeah. Zelina was uh, very impressive in this, man. We got to see some really cool moves. We really did. This was, I mean, did you get a shot of that? Oh, that was the backstage like her. You yeah. Get together, girl. Yeah, she had to she had to put Carmella in her place because Carmella's uh -huh. been bullshitting lately. Yeah, she's more focused on that that show. Yeah, exactly. I'm um I'm actually happy with it though because if this is the split, then this is a good split, you know. Yeah, and like you oh, said, you man, got it. Lena was going crazy, dude. This was such a cool little sequence right here. So she had her in a front headlock, flipped into that bridge. To see that chokehold from behind like that, yeah. And then from here, she transitioned into a back chokehold. Dude, Some it was very impressive. solid, cool wrestling. Absolutely impressive. She started out completely hot, bro. Like yeah. she was on fire. This flying, this like running knee that she did. Liv Morgan was getting her ass whooped. <laughs> like if we're was. being honest, she is very capable. Yeah, she could get. She could go for a little title run. She's just little. That's the only it's, problem. Yeah, that's the thing, man. She is just unrealistically silly, like silly little. I mean, yeah, exactly. Because you know, like a lot of the women are short, and then you see her, and it's like, oh my god, she's like tiny, yeah. but she she's can wrestle. Tiny. Yeah, she's like the the Rey Mysterio. She if she hit a couple of Hurricane Ranas in this. Some nice. Yeah, uh, tosses. I didn't like this part though. I definitely didn't like the rolling around the ring. Oh. I was like, oh, this is just silly. So when we, before we uh, started filming, uh, Tijon and I were talking, and I was like, this was an entertaining match. This yeah. was a fun match. The little rolling thing, I was like, all right, made me laugh. It kind of yeah. almost fit. But yeah, it was, was like, like, before that part, it was like, okay, like this is a match. And then this happened, I was like, oh, okay. Just, yeah, <laughs> dizziness. It was like a merry-go-round. Spun her around twice. I was like, all right. Yeah, two whole laps creative, around the ring. Yeah, creative. Haven't seen it. Made me laugh. Don't do it again. Yeah, no more, please. <laughs> exactly. No more, please. But that's kind of what helped Liv Morgan get into gear a little bit. Yeah. So we yeah, got she... to see a little bit of her. No, this it, this was, a, like I said, it was a funny, entertaining match. You yeah. know, Carmella outside of the ring, sitting with her, her man most of the time. And <clears throat> Nadula, I will get to your comment later, but I don't even want to entertain that with a thought right now because we are in a different match. We can get back to the Amaz one after because that's funny <laughs> as hell. But I don't want to talk to you right now. Uh, but, Zola, that's fantastic. So Liv Morgan <laughs> is clearly dominating Queen Zelina at this point. Carmella yeah. jumps up on the ropes, finally doing something right, you know, interfering, trying to help Fine. out her partner. Cool. But Rhea Ripley is right there, gives her a piece of her mind, and of course, um, Carmella runs to her husband and commentator Corey Graves. And oh, while they're fighting terrifying. now, there's nobody who can like like this whole thing just distracts Queen Zelina even more and just sets her up for another pin. Yep. And it was funny seeing Carmela. She was absolutely terrified of Rhea absolutely Ripley. Absolutely terrified. She's like, get away and like called her, I don't know, something like you beast or or, <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. Ella was hiding outside. I do remember that. And yeah, at least she did something. Yeah. You think she's the punisher? I could see it, you know, in a way, nah, in a yeah, way, a little bit. She's just. But look at the angry, the anger from Ooh. Queen Zelina. Is so that, this I is going to be the split. I'm telling you. Yeah, no, this that was just like the meanest look at at Carmella ever. So, yeah. uh, what it was, uh, Fight Kitties yesterday 
Lexi, uh, kick ass and coffee. She was saying that Carmella Sunday night during the live taping, she suffered an injury and mm. like a pulled one of her extensions got pulled out and it ripped a big part of her scalp out. And she like wow. tweeted out the picture. So I was waiting all night waiting to see this happen. And then when I saw Queens Alita like stare down, I was like, oh, it was her. She That's... ripped that hair out. Like how that happened. So <laughs> that but we didn't see it. I, I, maybe they cut it out. I don't know, but Carmella got a big chunk of her head ripped out. It was just a bald spot. Yeah, she tweeted out a picture. Expect a split. I'm saying I thought that was a split. So I was like, yeah. Was it Zelina that did it? They got to work it. They got to work it to make it like, you know, because that's crazy. Yeah. That's really crazy. I'm super excited now. But going to this one, I got to touch on the whole Amaz thing. Okay. Shut up. (laughs) I don't want to hear about it. They have run... Veer Mahan's pro promo to the fucking ground. Oh Shut man, up. this is great. I don't want to hear man, it. you're awesome. You make me laugh. This is fantastic. <laughs> I feel like he does it every time we talk about like we need a match. He is like the you must be his manager, bro. <laughs> if that's the case, then you suck because this guy's not wrestling. How's he making money <laughs> if he's not wrestling? When are they going to let him fight, bro? It's been, they've been promoing this since like day one. I I guess that's his contract. He got hired only for promos. No wrestling. Just promos. Come on, man. Nobody wants to see this crap anymore. (laughs) Is he even going to be in the game? I do. Good question. It was a no idea. See? Just in the promo. You'll see him just in commercials in the game. Yeah. He's just going to (laughs) be in the, he's going to be the loading screen. That's it. That's it. You won't even need a downloadable. Not a character. character. You can't wrestle with them. Just a loading screen. So boring, bro. I'm so <laughs> sick of it. Yeah. I'm a virgin. <laughs> that is a dope ass fan. That name. is great. That needs that, to be y'all on the shirt. Call yourselves the virgins. That's yeah. fucking awesome. That's a great shirt. I'm gonna push that. I'm pushing that. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely push that. It's not in the game. No, yeah. but that's what we said. He's just in the loading screen. Yeah, he'll just He's be in the game. <laughs> yeah, all the whole time, no matter what. He'll just be loading screen until like three years just in. Just a picture. And, yeah, until 2K25 comes out. And then maybe, maybe you'll see him fight. Shit's <laughs> annoying, dog. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, yeah. now we get to finally hear about, you know, Seth Rollins' big idea. He didn't yep. even wait for the girls to finish celebrating the win. It was like right after they that right after Liv Morgan Pender, he, he just comes them. out. Can't wait to break the news. He rushed them out. He's like, "Come on, go, shoo, shoo, ladies, get out of here." <laughs> it's Seth freaking Rollins, and I'm gonna. You don't go like move. Virgin? I like Virgin. I'm saying, Vince, see it, did. say it, Be put it good. on the shirt. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so fucking great. Vince will actually see. He's already trademarked it, man. Yeah, he's already been late. Hit. It already happened. <laughs> but no, nah, so we see Seth Rollins comes out. His, you know, his usual self was like, I couldn't, can't believe I didn't think about this earlier. Brings out his best friend, Kevin Owens, to break the news. Yeah. And man, this was the stupidest idea. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so proud of himself. Talk about yeah. patting yourself on the back. So he really does pretty much just rip off Kevin Owens' master plan that he's had for plan B. Their plan A was the tag team championship. You know, plan B for KO was all this S talk he's been doing with Texas, you know, poking the bear that is Mm -hmm. Steve Austin. Yeah, y'all saw slowly turn crazy. Yeah, yeah, man, He's, he's losing it. And this idea shows that because it was anything other than visionary. It was anything other than... This was a, a break. The architect. This was a break. This, this is not yeah. something that we would see. And this is desperation time. Yes. That's all that it really is. This man it's, is desperate to get into WrestleMania. And yeah, Kevin so Owens is rightfully idea. furious. Yeah, his idea was really just a generic Kevin Owens show. What do you say? It was yeah. like talking with, what was it? Talking the freaking, with, freaking, the freaking talking or something? Yeah, some, something stupid like that. And Kevin stupid. Owens couldn't believe it. He was like, can we just like go in the back and keep brainstorming? <laughs> and Seth was like, no. And as a matter of fact, he even challenges um, Kevin Owens to a match to yeah. see who will do the talk show. Yeah. And, you know, Kevin Owens is like, no. But yeah. Sonya Deville likes the match. And so she okays it and makes this the main event fight. How would the talk about a devious woman, man? She just wants to come in and stick that nose. And everybody else's stuff exactly. whenever she can. 
Exactly. You see, she don't have an arm sling. I was surprised yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. man. So that's I was I was definitely pretty surprised. And uh, it really does show he's starting to lose it. And KO is like, no, that's my idea, man. Yeah. Uh, and Seth but is I do really, like, like, no, this, no, this is good. This is the good. only thing that I like about this is the friendship is 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 gonna break. Or it's gonna be super tense because Kevin Owens did everything to like dissuade him from doing this, and Seth Rollins is just not having it. He will do whatever it takes to get to WrestleMania, and that includes screwing your friends. Yeah. And that's a, yeah. that's pretty much what that was. I mean, to yeah. challenge him to steal his spot, that's your idea. That's yeah. Uh, no, go find something else. Exactly. KO tried to talk him down, but once once that match was declared by Sonya, that was it. So Seth got his way, and that was it. Yeah, the French. Yeah. That's friendship that's true, is definitely friendship crumbling. Is, is crumbling. Yeah, <laughs> he chose most it. definitely. Seth should never wear that suit again. I it agree. Just, it represents his like his mood at the it's time. It's dullness. Man. Yeah, it's dullness, man. It's definite dullness. But next we saw the Mysterios again fighting the Hurt Business. So mm -hmm. we all know what happened last time they fought. Dominic was doing his thing, and then The Miz, like, interrupted it. And Dominic ended up getting his ass whooped because Rey Mysterio was going. Now, I remember that match, and that was kind of Dominic's fault. He should take that as a lesson learned. He should have had better ring awareness and not just completely lose distractions. So it yeah. could have been both ways. Dom, you know... He lost that because he wasn't paying attention. Yeah, exactly. He definitely wasn't paying attention. It was a rookie rookie mistake. He's still learning, so I won't yeah. give him too much crap about it because yeah, exactly. he is yeah. still pretty new. Yeah. But this so, was this, a pretty good match. The Miz was. and Logan Paul, of course, come out, but they kind of stayed to themselves. They just stayed in the commentators booth for, for most of the time. Most yeah. of the time. And do you see uh, Logan Paul? He has uh, music now. He's got his own music. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Not, I'm not so own entrance. Yeah, I saw his own shirt. Yeah, he got his like you know his branding is there. I see yeah. it. Good still job. not really sold on him as like a pro wrestler yet. So we'll see. He's still a little little cheesy. Still, I think he needs yeah. to kind of harden up a little bit. Stop yeah. being boy him. But we'll see. I mean, you're yeah, right. I mean, for the most part, they just hung out next to the announcers. Yeah, exactly. Like I wasn't mad at it because we actually saw a decent match, and Dominic came out very. Very, very fast that time, too. A nice Hurricane Rana there. I know it's kind of hard to see. But this yep. was a very impressive Hurricane Rana on um, Sheldon Benjamin. Yeah. And then he, uh, he also did the um, the waist lock toss. I, I, I can't think of what that's called. That's a lucha move as well. Yeah. But he's definitely – he has a lot of shades of his dad. But he needs to practice throwing those a little bit quicker because he's so big and he's so lanky. It doesn't look as smooth when he does throw them. Not like when his, his dad does it. Cause yeah, and so his awareness – his awareness is getting it, like it's getting better, but it's still not there. And Cedric Alexander took perfect exam, uh, uh, like advantage of that. He didn't. Dominic didn't even see the tag, so he's still worried about Shelton and gets clotheslined into the apron like it's nothing. Yeah, he got laid out, man. That's that was a grown man putting a kid in his place. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that yeah. was. That was a. It felt real welcome to to WWE ask, didn't it? Like he hasn't been here for for a minute, but yep. yeah, he's like yeah, that was that young. was a welcome moment. That was man. That's yeah, putting that, a rookie in his place. Yeah, that was definitely <laughs> a turn. It is a shame that he's kind of went that he's kind of going down because Cedric Cedric Alexander is a great wrestler. Yeah, well, and it's but because Bobby that. split, man, and he's split in a bad way. Pretty like, bad. He turned his back. Yeah, and it's true. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. It's pretty bad. So we'll see if Cedric Alexander came come come back in a way. But I don't know. This match was this was definitely interesting, though. They did a good job keeping Rey Mysterio out of it until Rey Mysterio got in. <laughs> and, you know, this was the variations that this man pulls is insane, bro. Like he this one so was good. like a hurricane round to turn into a tornado DDT. Yep. Like, I don't know how he's able to do this stuff, especially at his age, bro. It's ridiculous. He's he's amazing, man. His skill level is just – nobody can touch it. And it's, yeah. I think it is a big part because he is as small as he is. And you heard Logan Paul kind of making fun of him about that, too. He's like, I don't swear. Yeah. Just, I mean, he's good and all, but he's small. Yeah. Look at the way that guy climbs these big men like a tree. He swings around like a swing dancer and climbs yeah, he, around on these guys. He literally uses – your height against you yeah full on it's ridiculous and then Never gets that momentum do it so easily like ray mysterio does it it's beautiful i, I it love is. watching him 
get those great just back-to-back counters and transitions. And that was the better one in the match, man. That Hurricane Ron into a Tornado DDT was beautiful. Absolutely awesome. I loved it. And that almost led to the pin, but Shelton Benjamin, uh, yeah. you know, do- dove in at the very last second right before he got the pin. So that was like good. A split. It was, yeah. it was so close. And Rey Mysterio was pissed. So he almost 619'd him. And Cedric Alexander came out and, um, you know, like pulled the attention back on him. And I bet he wish he didn't do that because he got hit with a double <laughs> 619 for his troubles. Cleaned his clock, man. That was yeah. that was great. I saw it coming, too. I was like, oop, we're going to see the double. Yeah, I was like, oh, you fucked up. You should have just let him get one. Now you get two of them. <laughs> and that, of course, led to the pin. Yeah. And Dominic, you know, Dominic pinned Cedric Alexander with ease after that. Dominic has improved so much since then. And yes, Ray's yeah. still one of the greatest. That's why he's still the cover of WWE 2K22. Like, yeah, we we already knew. Yeah, man. And knock on wood, I don't see him going anywhere, man. He's in I great hope not. shape. He's still I hope not it. yet. I need Dominic to, you know, he still has, you know, has a ways to go. He has a lot to learn still. So yeah. until we see more experience from him, I don't want to see him go. And I think that's why this stuff is so, like, important. Like, the whole Miz beef is so good because we it's forcing him to have to, you know, like, do, get get better faster. Yeah. And, yeah. and deal and learn how to adapt with that other side of what wrestling is, you know. Exactly. Like, Be ready so, for that. Yeah. What you see is the Miz and Logan Paul come out immediately after the match ends, and they both jump Ray and Dominic. And, as like, they – their one mistake – that screwed them was trying to gang up on Rey Mysterio for whatever reason. And Rey <laughs> just took full advantage, throws Miz out of the ring, and now Logan Paul is by himself. Man, it was it was fantastic seeing Rey handle both of them because instantly he moved and reacted like a guy that's been jumped before. He's like, I know what to do. I've fought three guys before. Fuck you guys. Oops, sorry. But screw this, guys. You I know? Was, it's been 30 minutes <laughs> I'm in. coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, it was like I was like, hey, man, that's he knew exactly what to do. And he took Miz out. And there's Paul. He's like, ah, uh, like, what do I do? Yeah, so, exactly. So he almost gets what... hit with his own double six one nine. But the Miz luckily saves his ass because, man, it was about to be over with. Yeah, he tried. I mean, Logan was standing there like, oh, crap, what do I do? And yeah. he did exactly what you're supposed to. He went after the. The weakest one and hit him with the big pop. So <laughs> exactly. tried to, but got his butt whooped real quick. <laughs> Good thing Miz was there. So Masha wants to know what do we think about Dominic's outfit? I think I think his dad's was way better. I like the purple mohawk. It look, he has it another one that's weird. a little bit different and has it blue in it. Reminds it, me of a Power Ranger one, so I yes. don't like it. It's very this one Power is Ranger like. That one's very Power Ranger. He has another one where he looks more like Vegeta. That one's yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's like a mixture between the two. So I'm not a big fan of his his costumes. Yeah, Rey I don't Mysterio's think he would look good in the in massive. in Rey Mysterio's outfits. Yeah, man. But I don't I don't like the ones that he got either. Not a big fan of it. Oh yeah. And yeah, I mean, you got I I see you guys. I see what you're saying. Logan is definitely he's like he's not trash. You know, I saw no. some good moves. I saw a nice little pop every now and then. Yeah. But I don't know. Not sold yet. I think he, so. he has the ability to learn. He does have a wrestling background. So I think it's just really him relaxing and getting into, I guess, the personality he's going to choose, you know, like to show us. Because wrestling is your personality times 10. Yeah. So we want to see that. That's We've just seen him playing it cool. I want to see it amped up. Yeah, still still taking in the fact that he's in, in like, the Wrestleverse. Yeah. Time. It's Steve. We're we're a few weeks away now from WrestleMania, man. It's, we got we got to see what you got what you can bring. Mania is the biggest show, so it can't be a mid performance. Yes, I hundred so. percent agree, and I hope this doesn't blow up into WWE's face because it really seems like they're trying to bring in big names instead of big wrestlers. So. I mean, I would rather Bad Bunny because yeah. he at least can wrestle. We know he can wrestle. That's you know, true. we've seen it. We saw it at Royal Rumble. That's true. The, That's a good point. For Logan Paul, we don't know what he can do. And, I mean, hopefully maybe we'll see a singles match. I would like a single singles match maybe against him and Dom. That would be mm-hmm. kind of cool. 
because then at least we can kind of see where he's at or give him a throwaway match, see what he can do against somebody in the 24-7 area. Yeah. The tw- yeah, 24-7, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You can see. I mean, it's just he's a name. That's why he's at WrestleMania. You know, same yeah. thing with um, Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn, you know. Yeah, but that one's supposed to be silly. You know what I mean? Like, so that one gets more more from forgiveness, at name. least for me, because it's like, okay, we know Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn. That's just it's like this silly feud that's been going on. And, you know, we just all love Johnny Knoxville. The Paul brothers have not necessarily been loved, at least not for a while. And, you know, they are known for being pretty good, though, in the sports that they choose to be in. Yeah. So we need to see something before the biggest show in wrestle in the Wrestleverse to, that to shows be that you okay can even with it. this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's different. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The, the, and if we're being honest, at least when Johnny Knoxville came in, he had more of a of a personality and a and a presence than than Logan Paul has had yet. You know, and and thanks Sami Zayn for that because he's the one making that whole beef good. It's yeah, but I made. also think that the Miz is trying, he's but trying. it's like Logan Paul isn't really feeding anything back. Exactly. It's like yeah. Miz is trying yeah. to set him up, and then Logan Paul isn't really giving anything back. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's still acting like a fan rather than a exactly. wrestler. You know? Knoxville looks we need like, that. Knoxville acts like he's supposed to be there. Logan Paul still acts like he's just like glad to be there. Now, that's a that's well put. That's very well put. I agree with that hundred percent. Like he's glad to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. Put. That's gotta stop, so. man. I'm happy. I'd be the same way. Don't get me wrong. But when it's time to work, it's time to work. You're you're yeah. you're about it's to be at WrestleMania. Third week, man. Right? Third week? Third appearance? Yeah, this is like yeah. the third or fourth week. Yeah. It's been He's a while now. Yeah. So let's get into the next one, man. Oh yeah, you know what you Edge. know what time it is. Yeah. Edge and all his heel glory, man. We see the blue light and another new entrant. I I haven't heard this one before. No, so I'm glad you're talking about it. And you check out that suit, man. He was looking fresh. I love that yeah. suit. I want that. Heel man. Edge. I'd rock that. That's a great suit. And, 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 and the song was great. This. Say what? I said, you know, I'm a huge fan of this. This edge. Oh yeah, this edge is fucking great. He's he's going dark. Yeah, I love it. I I <laughs> absolutely love it. Yeah, Joe. I don't know too, how yeah. I feel about the new music from Edge though. I don't because when you don't I, like I, it. I'm I love the I love the old one. I'm sorry, the old one is just like the best one. And I always wait for it because yeah. when he like pauses. Puts the hands up and like I'm just so used to that. It's like the most hype one for me, just, and it's so nostalgic. But yeah. I can appreciate what's going on here because it's like fuck that. Like you think y'all they'll bring it back uh, for really WrestleMania? Am. Real huh? nostalgic for the WrestleMania show. Old song come out. He, no, he, he's gonna come out to this. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's set. Like setting. the the attitude that he has right now is literally screw everything and everybody. And I mean, the promo that he that he was like putting on was truthful. I mean, yeah. being a, a people pleaser or a fan pleaser always has screwed fighters. Always. Yeah. And so he's like, look, every like major match he hasn't gotten, you know, nothing has really gone his way. So now he's doing he is doing these throwaway matches now where we watch just because of the namesake and because we love Edge. But damn it, that's not what wrestlers are there for. And that's definitely not what the Edge is there for. And he made that full on clear. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was I used speaking the truth, man. He was saying that Edge is soft. And he made it clear, like, no, I don't care about you guys anymore. I'm here for me. Yeah. And I'm here to make this a great WrestleMania match. That's his yeah. goal. That Win, is exactly lose, what his point is. He knows he's better than everybody, and that's not a problem. I like the swagger. I love the fact that he went heel because I remember uh, we all talk about when when the Edge went full heel before. This mm-hmm. is a whole nother side of it, but like this is still reminiscent of that time because when he was screw everybody was in his most dominant run. It was. I mean, that's that's it. Just it takes you to that next level. It's the argument of the dark side in Star Wars. You know, the rage makes yeah. you stronger. The hate makes you stronger. But and I think he's going to channel that. 
and it's going to be a great match. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it is, and that's what the song's called, The Other Side. Well, that's a good name for it, because that's where yeah. we're at. That's definitely that's... where we're at. But yeah, man, the Edge, like, he closed it out by saying, you know, he's tired of being judged. He will not be judged by anybody, because, one, he just views everybody as lesser than him. He's the one that needs to judge everybody. Right? So He went he on that on by saying ramp. AJ, huh? I said he went on that omnipotent ramp, you know, yeah. just really saying how much better he is than everybody, just riling yeah. up the crowd. Oh, the crowd hated that, but I loved oh, it. Yeah. I was like, talk your shit. It is true in Jacksonville, though. I mean, Freakville's a whole <laughs> other breed over there, man. <laughs> I keep hearing some bad things about Jacksonville. Oh, it's man. called Freakville for a reason, man. I don't know nothing about I'm new to Florida, so I'm going to stay my ass where I'm at. I'm going to stay right here. Yeah, y'all, are, y'all are scary. All these Floridians <laughs> here. Y'all are a different breed. Yeah, Everybody that's, that's up north, just stay up north, bro. Don't do it. It's nice to vacation here, but these guys are crazy. Yeah. I'll say that right now. Hey, I agree, man. Stay up there. <laughs> yeah, they don't <laughs> like us either. <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine. We need to stay our Yankee asses back up north where we belong. Clearly, <laughs> this is not for us. But hold on. Nadula has something to say. Man, I always like this version of Edge. When I was a kid at the time. Yeah. Theme song yeah. isn't okay. Oh, see, I was about to say I knew there was gonna be mixed things. Yeah, I, the his his original is so like it's him. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the one that we all know and love. So hearing it be different, it just doesn't sound right. But I do understand it, so I'm not yeah. mad at it. It it fits for what he's going through right now. Exactly. So he kind of needs that song. Yeah, because it literally forces you to like you have to change your like your your view of mm-hmm. Edge because he does not want you to view him like we all view him anymore. You need to put him back if 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 he's going to stay cuz that's what it sounds like now. If he's going yeah. to stay in the Wrestleverse after WrestleMania, there needs to be a character change. When was the last time we saw a character change in Edge? How yeah. many years ago? That's a very good point, man. It's time. Yeah, he came back very humbled after his neck injury. Exactly. And, uh, you know, I think he's realizing he's still got it. He's in good shape. He's bouncing back and recovered well. And he's still got more in the tank. And I think that's true to any fighter or anybody that's in a, a competition sport or yeah. sport in general. You know, you need to get that fire. If yeah. you're going to make some title runs, you need to get that fire. And I exactly. think that that fire is there. So And AJ shown us he's doing nothing but getting better. So this is going to be a really good match. This is going to be a fantastic match. So if AJ does get back, like Edge said, you will be judged. This is going to be awesome, man. Yeah. This I'm probably most hyped for this match than any other match. And I'm okay with saying that. I think it's going to be a great one, man. I think it's just WrestleMania in general is going to be fantastic. And it's going to be busy, busy, busy. Oh, lots yeah. of stuff. I mean, it's going to be a great couple weeks of wrestling, man. Oh, dude, 100%. There's so much going on. I'm ready for it. I'm definitely ready for it. But what we got next? Oh, this man, a yeah. good one, man. Bianca Belair and Dewdrop. That Dewdrop was great. Showing up angry, teaming up yeah. with Nikki A.S.H. Yeah, what about that, man? I was not expecting them to team up and really be team um, Becky Lynch. Yeah, I, I like it. Um, I think they're a good match. And I think they'll do well together because Nikki I mean, has that speed and Dewdrop same, has the power. Close to the same area, you know. Yeah. So it does I make a little bit of sense. I think this is a good matchup. Sense. I like this. Yeah, no, I kind of like it because it's like good and evil. Because then you have Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, and you have um, Liv Morgan on one side. And then you mm-hmm. have Dewdrop, Nikki A.S.H., and Becky Lynch on the other. I do this, like that. It's, it's great. I think this is a great matchup. And I love that they went this direction. I think it's going to do much better. And you could definitely see that Liv Morgan and uh, Rhea Ripley are just they're, they hit it off real quick. They're already besties, hugging yeah. each other, coming out. And Dewdrop's a beast, and Nikki has that kind of inner fire in her. So the two of them teaming up, I think it's fantastic. I Most it. definitely. My only thing is honestly, I don't even know if I want to see Rhea Ripley on a team anymore. I do like her more in like a singles format than anything. She dominate, man. I think she's yeah. waiting for her time. Exactly. So that's what I mean. Maybe it's just because, you know, the Bel Air and Becky Lynch thing is definitely not finished and they're still really at like at their peak. And you don't want to you don't want to use Rhea Ripley in that. And then she gets lost in the sauce. 
Yep, so, I 100% agree. And she's got a huge future in front of her. She's not going anywhere. Ton of skill. She's only going to get better. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I agree with that. Dude Nikki's the fine. X Factor. Not yet. I wouldn't call Nikki the X Factor yet. She needs more time. I had, when she when she stops the bitterness, which she didn't really do anything this match. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe out. then she can be an X Factor because, yeah, she's been a really good wrestler. She's very smart, but I don't know. I don't know if, yeah. I, would, if I would put her in the category of, like, she would be, like, a game changer kind of thing. I think she has the ability. She has the skill. But her headspace is just in the wrong, exactly. wrong area, you know, wrong space. And she needs to, she needs to get a game plan together and follow it and implement it and i yep. think then she'll really start to get a lot better but she also has to find a partner or a teammate to stay with in order for that to happen because i think she's yeah. gonna be better in a tag team versus a single i do too and i mean i think that do drop in uh in her would be a pretty good one that's an yeah. interesting one the size differences there the skill set <clears throat> are different as well so i think that would be kind of cool but i would think that Either, one of them is either going to have to go corny or the other one's going to have to go serious. And you know which one I'm talking about. So either either Dewdrop is going to have to put on a ridiculously stupid outfit and be like Otis without the Academy <laughs> in a hero form or Nikki A.S.H. is going to have to stop this nonsense that look like this hero personality. Yeah, I'm done with the superhero thing, too. She can drop yeah. it. She's cute. She could pull something else off. Yeah, I, I'm hoping more for that. I don't want to see Dude drop in a mask. I'll be annoyed. That'll like take <laughs> yeah, all the momentum. Either, I don't think Dude drop wants to be in a mask. I don't think She's she will. I think she would leave and go to AEW or something before she yeah. allows that to happen. She'd do great in AEW. I'd love to see her tear Nyla Rose apart. <laughs> I'd love it. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Right? <laughs> She's yeah, wrestled man. guys, man. Should Dude drop can hang? Dude drop can hang. She and I mean, props to Bianca Belair because she did a great, she had a great match. Like, you yeah. know, it's not easy fighting somebody like, um, like, uh, do drop. No, no she, she's completely she different. She was patient. She, she waited for her. Op- no, she waited for her was... opportunity and took it when it happened. I mean, she was yeah. in it. She was out of the way in it when she needed to be. Yeah. And when she got that right time. She was in it. I mean, yeah, she tried there were just up times the KOD where she would rush it, and that was really the the issue. It was a lot of learning that had to happen in this match when it came to Bianca Belair because Bianca Belair is so in her head about being the EST that she thinks she can just do whatever she wants to anybody. And that was you this know? point. Yeah, she tried to way too early in the match. Yeah, to try to KOD like, her. One whole minute in, and you want to KOD two drop? She's too big. <laughs> You're not going to do, and then you're not going to be able to just lift her by yourself anyway, not yeah. without some momentum. Yep. And so, like, she really had to learn in this match. You know, you're not going to be just because, you know, you train as good as you do and you're as gr- great as you are, you're not about to just manhandle somebody off of that. You got to yeah. work. You got to be smart. Use your brain. That's very true. Yeah. She still came out on top. You <laughs> dropped it great. She all dropped the way it great. This match, she was pretty much kind of on the attack. And really yeah. trying to uh, use what what she's best at, man. Just using that momentum, and she got some great slams. I mean, caught her uh, in the corner a couple times. Yeah, but man, eventually, I can't believe it. But Bel Air set in that KOD, man. Yeah, she did. So here, this is where it, it like actually started to like click for Bianca Bel Air. She actually used the momentum of Dewdrop when she was running at her, to lift her, slam her on her back. Then yep. she got to the corner and was able to use her to get that KOD. So instead of you just lifting with all your back and blowing your spine out, <laughs> you're actually being smart about it. And then you get the you get the result that you want. And it's super impressive because now you're walking with Dewdrop on your back all the way to the middle. This beautiful, beautiful KOD finisher shaking yeah. the mat. Like, dude, that was awesome. It was fantastic, man. That little pop that she had to bring it all the way in. I was like, holy cow. You know, yeah. and you're right. It was impressive seeing her walk out like that. It's like, okay, this isn't do drop making her look good. This was exactly this was a good match. This yeah, was a because lot better I know the last, last time, time that, that happened, everybody was like, eh, that was a little yeah. rough. But this one nah, was, that was very me. good. Yeah. 
I was like, yeah, that's that was me. I was like, eh, no, nah, Dewdrop made her look strong. This one yeah. was a good match. Yeah, this, this one match. was definitely good. And what a surprise. <laughs> Not really that big of a surprise. But, of course, since Becky Lynch has now recovered from her whi whippings that she got, she pulls Bianca Belair by her hair out of the ring and literally ragdolls her all throughout. I mean, from the table to the chair. Oh, and, man. oh, my God. Like, yeah. I don't know how she's going to recover for next week because this was some deadly stuff, bro. Yeah. Her head was wrapped up inside that chair. You can see it here in the picture. Mm -hmm. And she just used her hair like a rope and whipped her right into that corner post, still wearing the chair, and yeah. cleaned her out. And that was after getting slammed multiple times and just getting yeah. worked, man, after a big match. Like right this, in her windpipe. Yeah. Perfect oh, revenge Joseph, indeed. This, this is the perfect revenge? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, this this is a textbook revenge. I'll say that. Because this... Yeah. This I was way was... more brutal than getting whipped in the stomach and having yeah. some welts. You just crushed her windpipe. Not to mention, I mean, she before the match, Bel Air said it. It's like, hey, yeah, she whipped her with her hair. This first time <laughs> she's ever used her hair as a weapon. And she yeah. did that after Becky tied her hair up. So yeah. she started playing with the you hair. You don't first. touch a black woman's hair. Right? Everybody exactly. knows that. Exactly. So <laughs> that's not, I don't know if revenge was necessary. I think they were pretty even after that. She tied her up, she got whipped. Don't touch my hair. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, just just rage. That's all it was. Hopefully yeah. she recovers in time and we get some revenge from Bianca Belair because that's what everybody wants to see now. Oh, she did damage her windpipe. I yeah. Lexi was talking about it. Yeah, no, they saw, they talked about it <clears throat> in the show, too. Like, she can't oh, did really they? speak right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm, yeah, well, I mean, so. I guess you really don't need your windpipe when the wrestle. She just won't be talking any ass. <laughs> exactly. There won't be any talking <laughs> shit. So, you know, hopefully she is good, though. You know, hopefully. Yeah. Well, we don't want to see anybody get hurt. We, we want to see a nice, fun, competitive wrestling match. Bex yeah. will be crying again. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. she, like, adds some, like, extra whatever she had that made that whip crack in her hair. I'm telling you, I think it's a wire. Now. I think it's, it's a wire crazy. or bamboo in there. Yeah, add some extra. Add some extra cork or something because it's, yeah, she <laughs> definitely deserves the ass whooping that's coming to her. For real. But I next we had RK Bro celebrating, you know, getting their titles back, going to WrestleMania, baby. Super yep. excited for them. And I love the fact that Randy Orton, you know, is showing love, super happy, you know, super dope. It's really nice. He's, he's trying. And then, you know, Riddle, classic Riddle. He's like, thanks for the birthday party. It's not for another 10 months. Yeah. But thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. It was cool, though. Uh, yeah, it's super cheesy, and it was very oh, half-assed. But Randy Orton did his best. You know, he threw did. him a nice little party since um, Riddle did the last time. You know, the last time they won the belts, Riddle threw a nice little um, celebration. And so this was Randy Orton's turn. Yeah. And gave him a nice little green bag, too, that we didn't get to see. <laughs> uh again this is this is so funny made me laugh yeah, and that's a great shot look how happy he is yeah so is that what <laughs> i think it is because he gave him some gum before yeah and he was like yeah that that's for after because we gotta use what's in the bag first and he was so happy and so excited and funny unfortunately stuff. the street profits come and rain on the parade before they can get crashing to it. it crashing the party yeah definitely crashing the party but uh, Joseph and that's interesting. Cave. I'll put that up. Yeah. Street, street Profits street might get the belts back, and that's how Orton turns on Riddle. I don't know. May I could see it, but right now, on like the in, in the height of their their um, you know, the no, ride that they're on. I don't know. You can't take RK Burrow away that quick, especially so they're we can't get too right ahead now. of ourselves. So Street Profits come in, yeah, they challenge them, say, Hey, we already beat you. And so we should be next in line to get those belts. Mm -hmm. And Orton's not having that. He's like, no, 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 no. You got to go back of the line. Or yeah, he said, do you up. know what we did to get yeah. this? Like, what? He was pissed. Oh, yeah. He was He was insulted. getting furious. And it was really because, you know, they were like, we're not asking. We're telling you. Yeah. And Orton was like, I've never been told anything in this ring in the whole, <laughs> like, my whole career. Nobody has ever had the balls to tell me shit Even when I'm Vince in the ring. Even Vince McMahon himself. Like, yeah. And so he's like, y'all need to leave. And luckily, I mean, Riddle kind of calms him down. And is like, they, they got a point. They kind of have a point. And we do need a match for WrestleMania. And after talking it over, 
Orton kind of reins it back in and is like, okay, we accept. Yeah. He's like, you're lucky Riddle's so cool. Yeah. So and then and they threw a little jab there at the end, you know, and then he said, did that. Like, you know, this shit party pretty much. You know, yeah, like, he hey, called his party ass. Damn. Terrible, terrible thing to do with the bro. Yeah, he, he got that like, Randy was quick. He was yeah. on his like, hey, you don't insult and disrespect Randy like that. Yeah, and, and as soon as that happened, he was like, I thought we were cool, but now I don't I don't want to wait for WrestleMania. I wanna beat your ass now. Yeah. And the match was dope. Riddle this was, was on great. fire, man. So yeah, I think Riddle getting insulted right before the match, it's it, that was like uh, his little pumbling. You know, we've talked about it before. He has to get beat up and wake up. Matt woke him yeah. up, and he came into this match hot. Yeah, dude, there was no real like this was time for for Montez Ford to really get in the groove. Like yep. as soon like he tried something, very first move Riddle throws in is a flying um triangle. Excellent jujitsu skills. You know I love it. I had to get that shot. Yeah. Like, they were going crazy. Now, this was almost a wardrobe malfunction. Did no, you see it that? it was. They just had a great camera guy. Yeah. Because I was like, <laughs> oh, God. His whole bare ass was hanging out. It was. <laughs> the camera guy was just on point. Or they edited it so we didn't see it. Yeah. And it was fantastic. Like, he raked all the way down his back. Yeah. Pulled out his booty, and then Riddle came around. I'm so tired what of the heck was that, man? man? I'm tired of it, so I'm glad. After that old Braun Breaker thing, I didn't need to see it again. Yeah, it was it was funny, man. And, and like you said, what the heck was that, man? <laughs> yeah, no, nice. man. I was. I'm. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad that they didn't. Um, they didn't go through that again. But yeah, like I said, man, Riddle was going crazy. Riddle was absolutely on fire. It was insane. This was a great him. match. It was the, such yeah, a great match. These suplexes were fantastic. And then picking him up from a deadlift and just gut wrench after gut wrench. So he's so strong, man. And just picking up Ford and just holding him and then throwing him back like that it was insane. Awesome. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, no, man. So, I mean, here we finally get to see some Montez Ford action. Yeah. He like, kind of picks it up a little bit. Gets a finally second wakes up. It just took him good. so long, you know? Like, I was I was expecting this to really just be Riddle's show. And, I mean, it still really was. He did good. I yeah. mean, he just – he had to stay on the ground. And, yeah. that's, and that's what Montez Ford does. He's a high flyer. So – I mean, Riddle kept it there, kept it on the ground, and was. And there were times the where Ford tried to, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were there were some flying things, but he failed doing the highest flying stuff. Like you know, usually he'll go all the way at the top, like the very corner. He flew mm -hmm. down and missed, and had to jump again from the stairs, which is very less, like very much more anticlimactic. But at least yeah. it gets the job done. He still got a good amount of air for how high he was. And oh, it was dude, a clean the dude has body. legs like a fucking gazelle. He can just <laughs> jump. I don't understand how he's not in the NBA. He must have he was had some kind of career before because he has bunnies, bro. Yeah. It's insane. He definitely does, man. He's a high flyer. Yeah. It's insane how high he can jump. I mean, I've said that from, like, the very first time I saw him. I was like, this is ridiculous. But, I mean, Riddle takes the fight back. As soon as he gets back in the ring, he's just running around again like a pinball. It's When he gets to doing that, it's over for you. Yeah, man. And then after that, what he said in some great strikes, then started giving some homage to uh, Riddle or oh, Riddle, uh, yeah, Randy. Randy Orton. Yeah, Hit yeah, his, man. Uh, very Let nice. Get it. This yeah. DDT off the rope. Mm hmm. I and loved then, it, what, man. He tried to set up the uh, RKO one time. Montez, he Missed saw it. that. He's like, no, 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 no. But yeah, Riddle came back. Him I think this is what the sixth time he's tried yeah. doing the RKO and finally yeah. got it. Finally gets it, so he eats this jumping side kick, and then comes back and hits him with that RKO. Great it was, it timing great. on that RKO, by the way. It was. I it was, was like, finally, he gets it, and it was Yeah, crazy. because it was off of a counter to a power bomb. Mm -hmm. Just, like, flipped right out of it. Boom. RKO time. It was amazing. He's like, I got you now, man. Set it in. That was a, yeah. that was a cool win. So, because of that, I really don't think that he's going to be – running away from randy man he's finally nah. setting in all the moves and learning that's what i'm saying it's too you know, soon way too and then soon. alpha academy coming in and absolutely decimating everybody 
There's too many other know. questions in the tag team department right now. Would I so, love to see them all doing single stuff? Yes. But, man, look at this. Yeah. Alpha Academy is not to be forgotten. Oh, exactly. and Chad are still great, man. It's not the time for this yet. And they let them know. I mean, they, they literally carried everybody and destroyed everybody. Yes, yeah, Street Profits trucks, came better out. Watch your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, a hundred percent, one hundred percent. Yeah, almost so another it's... wardrobe malfunction. But look at this move from Alpha Academy on Angelo Dawkins, bro. Yeah, Jesus. They, they they came in and destroyed Street Profits. This... They came in talking. Yeah. They came out doing. Yeah, this was a that I think that this was my favorite move from them. I haven't seen something like that. Like literally Otis bouncing around like a pinball, hits him with the meanest lariat into a perfect textbook suplex by Chad Gable. Like, wow, bro. They they have some of the most creative tag team stuff out right now. The stuff that they're doing, I mean, with the big tandem suplexes and then the stack suplexes too. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, I talk, I talk about it all the time. These guys are great. Um, then, you know, we see Otis doing his frog splash off the yeah. top rope, um, Chad Gable doing his moonsault, like, dude, so unnecessary. Everybody gets the work. You want the smoke? You got it. Yeah. That's basically what they were saying. What are we going to see though? They're, they're looking at WrestleMania still. Yeah. It's still, still up looking. in the air. We don't know. Maybe we'll see a triple threat match. Maybe, maybe we'll see a triple threat tag team again. Hey, I'd be fine with that because that was fantastic, man. You know, I'm with that. I'm I'd all for that. I'd be completely okay. You will not get a complaint from me. That would be awesome. I would be glad to watch that happen again. Yeah, because, I mean, Alpha Academy man. clearly has a few new moves. You got Riddle coming in, really uh, doing well, setting in Randy Orton's moves for his for own. first time. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, man. It's going to be good. So, I, I mean, I said I do want the Alpha Academy at WrestleMania. So, however they get yes. there. I'm good with. Definitely I, I good agree. With. I, I need to see them there. They're they're one of my favorite tag teams right now in WWE. Actually, oh, yeah. in WWE, they are. They're my favorite. Most definitely. And the, to your comment, um, I liked it. I think nobody had a real issue with the uh, with the promo. It was really well done. I'm very happy with it. I'm yeah. sure AEW is going to do something as well. I, I'd oh. be surprised if they didn't. Tony will absolutely do something yeah. for sure. I mean, he's a legend, and Tony Khan is a huge wrestling fan. Yeah, like we said wrestling. in the beginning, man, a lot of these personas, the granddaddy of them all was Razor Ramon. Yeah. You got to you got to pay homage to to where your guys are and where the talent stands now. It stands on the shoulders of the people before them. And the one and the guy that made it cool to be a bad guy, Razor Ramon. Yeah. How how often can you respect a bad guy like that? You know, exactly. and I, uh, granted, it was right around the same time that Scarface came out and it was a similar thing. <laughs> you know, we all love uh, Tony in that because he was a guy from the bottom up that lived the American dream. So it was, it was kind of that era, you know, allowed you exactly. to like the bad guy for the first time. And he did a fantastic bad guy. I mean, great just, bad guy. The best. And a specimen. Talk about great genetics, too. Yeah. Super strong, super athletic. For a long time, man. He yeah. wrestled until he was well into his 40s. Yeah, exactly. So, so man, him, man. I, Big loss. I mean, the, the news came very surprising, I think, to everybody. Nobody yeah. was really expecting that to happen anytime soon. But when was, are you? It was from a surgery, man. Pretty much a blood clot yeah. from a surgery that shook loose and got into his heart. Three oh, heart attacks. Happened. It took three to put this man down. Yeah. Not one. Three. The big three count, man. So that just shows you how strong this guy is. Yeah, it's unfortunate, was, man. Sorry. But when it's your yeah. time, it's your time, man. Yeah. But it's yeah, nah, man. It's it's all good. He had a great life. He he did so much for the sport. I mean, salute to him. Always salute to Razor Ramon because absolutely, we don't know where wrestling would be if it wasn't for the bad guy. Absolutely. So man. many great storylines because of because that personality became a trend. And nobody did it better, man. Yeah, nobody. not yet. So. Not yet. We're seeing some people doing it, but not like that. But getting into the last match, the main event that nobody Sony wanted Deville. to see until it started happening. <laughs> Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens, man. Wow. Yeah. You know, and we've seen them wrestle before. They fought each other. You know, it's not like this is new, but this is new yeah. since they've been best friends. So, you know, exactly. uh, Seth is just in a very weird headspace right now. So 
Yeah, and they, poor they, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens yeah. is just like, why? Like, they're arguing the whole time. And, I mean, Seth Rollins is like, I'm needed at WrestleMania. Like, I need to be there. And yeah, Kevin Owens is like, I need to be there. And so, like, that's where their whole, far, their, their whole like, feud is taking place now. And, I mean, the Seth fight just opened. starts. They just start going yeah. off. Yeah, Seth opened up on him, man. He had a can yeah. of whoop ass that opened up. He started really laying yeah. the KO. Oh, yeah. And that's the tragedy of it all, man. Seth and Kevin have great in-ring chemistry. So yeah. seeing this happen was like, oh, man. Because, yeah, like, I don't think they were ever really best friends. But at the same time, man, like, their tag team capability was insane, especially for how quick it happened. Yeah. They, these two were going crazy. Oh, and that triple threat match, they did amazing together. Absolutely and they beat Alpha amazing. Academy. You would they, not think that they had just like come together a few weeks ago. You would have thought that they were actually tag team members for a while. I think it's just because they're both really good professional wrestlers. And when you're professional yeah. at anything and you're next to another professional, it should flow. You're gonna it make it work. It should be good. You're definitely gonna make it work. I yeah. mean, that's the whole thing with um Braun Breaker and Tommaso Ciampa. Like just kind of happened, but it works. Yeah. It yeah, definitely absolutely. works. But so, this match, I mean, man, was was fantastic. Seth Rollins came out blazing, of course. You know, he has a lot. In the legs. Yeah, this was a was a crazy knee drop. Yeah. Absolutely. But, I mean, his, his knee was getting messed up, man. Oh, man. Kevin Owens was a genius in this. Like, he sweeps him on the apron. This was smooth. Really? Yeah, it was. It was super smooth and just targets that left knee. For the entire fight, man. It was yeah. brutal to watch. But, I mean, you do what you got to do to win. You have oh, yeah. to. Seth was trying to fight through it the entire time. And you saw him kind of smacking it a few times, trying to get blood to it. Yeah. And and try to get it going every time he feeling. was getting some momentum. Yeah. And, I mean, like I said, man, Kevin Owens. I mean, after a while, you know, the friendship has to be gone. You're coming, yeah. you're coming for the thing that I fought for the most. Like, that's real disrespectful. You yeah, got to make them learn. Kevin. I don't blame him one bit. I don't blame Kevin at all for how he was doing him. And, I yeah. mean, Seth woke up, you know. It wasn't like this was a one-sided match at all. This no. was actually a flip because oh, he was, was about to get powerbombed, and he just flung him off his back into the apron. That was some. That was cool. That, oh, yeah. You know, it's. <laughs> I think uh, Seth finally woke up when uh, KO tried to hit him with the stunner. He's like, dude, you were, you were going to hit me with a oh, stunner? Oh, yeah, he said, you're going to stun me this man. <laughs> That was what it was. It was like now of all times. You're not gonna okay. wait until we actually fight. You're gonna just try to get me out now. The yep. disrespect in that he Dude, was not that. having, and that's when things really took a turn. He was yeah. not having it. And Kevin <laughs> Owens says, "Well, he was like, yes, I don't want to fight you anymore. anymore. I just want this to be done because yeah. this is my show. This is my thing that I worked on." Yeah, I agreed. <laughs> was, I agree with good. Kevin Owens. It was fucked up what what um what Seth Rollins tried to pull. Yeah. Up Again, he's just in another place, man. His mind yeah. is not correct right now. Yeah. Like, at one point, Seth Rollins missed di missed him diving out the ring and gets flung into the barricade. Like, these guys were really going at it, man. Like, look at this one. So uh, this is actually a tornado uh, DDT off the top ropes from Kevin Owens. This Amazing was, what this big dude can pull off. It bro. was fantastic, man. Absolutely I rewound it fantastic. and had to watch it again. I was like, that is great the guy really does have some moves man you yeah know, that's, how does this guy do it that's not like a fat belly man that's just a yeah. power belly that's like one of those power, <laughs> power lifter belly. bellies you know what i mean <laughs> yeah like, it's a turtle shell exactly yeah it's, it's just solid man that guy has a he's just built a little bit different yeah and side note great fucking entrance music too every time you hear it you gotta get hype that shit yeah. is awesome yeah i love his entrance music but so next, man, what else happened? Oh, man. Yeah, you you know the, the senton, the running senton, and he's screaming the whole time, like, this is mine. Like, this is mine. Like, he's just hyping himself the whole time. You got a great shot of that, too, because his his lower back yeah. and, and ass, really, it really did just get him right in the he head. And his, his head, head kind of yeah. <laughs> bounced off the turnbuckle a little bit because when he sat down, it, it pulled Seth down, and he hit him pretty hard. I was like, ooh. Man, he yeah, had a face full of ass on that one. Yeah, the disrespect. And I mean, <laughs> finally, I mean, there was some more like back and forth punching going on. You know, Rollins is waking up finally, getting into it, runs into him with some forearms in the in the um turnbuckle. Like that was a bad one. 
Yeah. Oh man, this one was rough. This one was a rough one. I was a little concerned for KO, not gonna lie. This move though, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Great Flying shot. knee right to the jaw of Kevin Owens. Yeah, this even the announcers were like, just look at this shot. He came down off the top post with that, right? Yeah, it was like a wow. springboard kind of move. I don't even think he hit the rope. He just like jumped and just the whole it was like so slow. Like, it was very movie quality-esque. It was just like, <laughs> boom. Like, there was nothing you could do. This was so epic. Somebody needs to make this a silhouette. Kind of like how they do um, Roman Reigns Super Punch, because this was hard. Right? That does look like that. Yeah. that. That'd be cool, man. That should be our thumbnail. That's a great shot, too. Yeah. No, this was absolutely fantastic. And, you know, now he's finally being able to dive onto Seth. I mean, onto Kevin Owens. And he even does so on the... um the broadcaster's table too. Yeah, man. He, Heard himself he there. sent him into it. And then yeah. that's a, you can see right there. So after uh, Rollins hit this, he, he landed on his feet, stumbled and then hit the corner of the announcer's table yeah. right on his back. So he kind of hurt himself on this one. I'm too. sure that should actually hurt. Oh yeah. Yeah. He, he hit it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Seth versus Owens can never be bad. I completely yeah. agree. These dudes bring it and it's always that's fun to watch, bro. But this one, like, so we see this monster frog splash. We think it's over. Nope. Refuses to go down. But this superplex, iconic. Wow. What wow. a superplex. This, this, and I mean, they went down so hard on this. So one, hard. Holy cow. This ring took a beating. I don't know how. <laughs> the, like, every match that, like, went down, man, the ring was buckling. So, Jesus Christ, that poor canvas. <laughs> they're gonna have to replace the boards after Omos. Oh my god, KO man, Omos, the KOD that had like oh, man, yeah. Jesus Jeez. Christ, the ring was, was like crazy. going through it. I don't know, uh, <laughs> I don't know how it stayed up. I truly don't know how it stayed up after yeah, what was going was a on. Good episode, very great episode. You see Seth Rollins just running Kevin Owens into the corner. Like this stuff was absolutely insane, bro. This, this match lasted for a while. It was a good 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, because this was before the he got hit with a stunner because he almost got hit with a stunner and instead he just throws him into the corner. Like, yeah. how dare you? Like, you're no, not no, 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 no. You're not going to do that to me. And he almost gets the pin. He actually did pin him. For yeah. being honest, this was the match, but he accidentally flung the ref out when he did, when he pushed him into the corner. The ref got caught up in it, flies out of the ring, Finally comes back after 10 seconds of the pin being it. Yeah. And Kevin Owens recovers. So the match keeps going. That's I, I was sitting there counting. I mean, it was at least a good five, six count. I mean, I, I was just like, geez, where is this ref? But yeah, man. Came, like Seth came up pissed, man. He was ready to fight. Oh, the he ref. was furious, but he wasted <laughs> too much time, man. He wasted too much time complaining to the ref, yep. missed his stomp, and gets hit with that stunner. It's over Done. with, ladies and gentlemen. Done. That's Kevin exactly Owens what happened. Gets the pin. He should have followed up with the stomp, and then the ref was right there. And he, he could have cussed the ref out after. Yep. Secure the win first. Yep. Bad, bad, bad move. Yeah. But KO saw it. I'm not that's mad what makes at him it. the better wrestler. I think I'd have been more mad seeing a talk show with Seth Rollins than I would have with Kevin Owens. This is the KO show, baby. No, we don't man, need I, to see Seth Rollins do it that way. I want to see I, him. I don't want to see that match. Yeah, I, I want to see him see in WrestleMania just as much as everybody else, but it can't be in that way. He's got to find his own way. Yeah, absolutely. The KO beef with Steve Austin's already there, and I like it. You know, the Texas Canadian S talk back and forth is great. I love it. It's too built when, up. Yeah, Seth exactly. Seth Rollins would literally ruin it, and that would ruin his character and a whole lot of other things. I like would have been mad. Really. I would have been upset if that's the way yeah. it would have went. I think everybody would have been upset. Nobody would have liked that. But what is next for Seth? Seth, I don't know. Don't I know. don't know. I have no idea. I think. F and Omas? Uh, Nadula said <laughs> no, Omas. <laughs> Hell no. I'm going to go back to what Nadula said because Nadula had a good point. Because he, I mean, this was way earlier. So give me a second. But he actually talked about. Um, possibly him and Cody Rhodes. And that was something that, yep, there we go, that me and Noah were talking about on the All yeah. Road crew. I, I, re I remember that conversation. I think it's yeah. a very interesting take. 
Um, most likely, if, if Cody Rhodes didn't show up last night in Jacksonville, kind of like a, a little bit of a slap in the face or, hey, you know, that's a, that's when he made his big opening debut for AEW was in Jacksonville. So if he yeah. would have come back to WWE, it would have been a little bit of that slap. And definitely, you know, kind of a good storyline. But, you know, I think they're saving him for WrestleMania. For yeah. Sure. If, he, if he is getting signed, you know, and it's a real thing. I mean, we'll and see, man. I, you know, I, I don't hear. Sh- has, any, has anybody heard anything about Cody? No. I, I mean, I made the joke that uh, he's not allowed back until he gets the neck tattoo removed. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mashu said he doesn't want to see Cody in the WWE. He's not a big fan of him. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a fan of Cody. I'm not a fan of Stardust. Please don't just don't bring Stardust back. That's my only thing. That's always been my only thing. Yeah. No. Don't get me wrong. Cody Rhodes is a hardworking wrestler. He has a ton of talent and he'll kill himself for the sport. And he loves yeah. it. I'm just not a big fan. I'm just not. I get you. You know, I don't know. He doesn't have what I like to see in a lot of other wrestlers. You know, it's just. No, I can understand that. He's a little cheesy. Yeah. It's and not I like, like cheesy. I'm going to stop everything I do. But at the same time, I do think that a Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes match would be great. I think it'd be a great match. Yeah, I, I, I would. Great, great I match. would like to see that. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully Vinnie Mac didn't um fuck that up. Yeah, we'll you know, see. I'm really hoping that. And yeah, man, Stardust, R.I.P. Stardust. Keep Stardust out of there. Just burn nice. that, burn that persona down. Did I, I send you the uh, the picture of the a Galactic American Nightmare? Yeah, there we go. Look, <laughs> <laughs> my boy, my too. He said he's done with the troll of Stardust. Thank you. Thank you. But no, man. I, I just, I, I think that Seth Rollins has to be at WrestleMania. Yes. Where where it'll happen, I don't know. But we'll figure it out. It'll happen. He's going to be there. He's going yeah. to be there. I'll be shocked I think, if he's I think not. it's going to be a big surprise, which Gotta will make be. it even good. They're going to even better, gotta I mean. figure it out, too. They have to figure it out. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I really don't see anything else happening, man. You know, I don't either. I have no idea. I have him, literally no idea. You think he maybe comes Bobby Lashley comes Brock? back before WrestleMania and he fights him? I don't know. Even that, I'm kind of like, eh. I don't even want to really see that. Comes but, in, maybe helps Brock. I'd rather see that. I said I've been saying I would rather see an interruption in in the Reigns and Brock fight. I don't really give a shit about Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar's fight. I don't. I don't really care. Wait, Seth's definitely on the card. Yeah, may it be a face, stuff. but I'm a heel. <laughs> the dude is yeah. a heel. I give you that. The dude is definitely fans, a heel. The, the, yeah, we got the best fight fans. It's. I it's love the heels, man. Fans. All of you guys are heels. We're a heel. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Don't think anybody in here's a face. I'm. I, I'm an inner asshole for sure. Yeah. Would you guys watch if we were <laughs> if we were faces? No. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be as funny. <laughs> Yeah, since last week's All Real Crew. What What did we say that would make yeah. you want to see Brock and Roman? You're trolling. I don't want to listen to you. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be good. It's a battle of the titans. Yeah, it's, but I'm it's bored with too it. too big not to happen. Yeah. So, it's just, let it, yeah, let I it think they sport. Maybe they over-promote it. I don't know. I'm just bored with it now. Well, you know, with the Madison it. Square Garden, it, just, it was a squash real quick. Let's actually see him wrestle. You know, yeah. so it has to happen. It's too big not to happen. They have to let it happen. And then let's move on to something else. Let's do it then. But yeah. last thing the I want to bring up before we do the ratings, man. Sure. This was a great, great uh, thing to happen, man. I missed the Hall of Fame. I didn't catch it yet. Oh, you didn't catch this last part? No, I missed that. Yeah, no, she got she's getting it. She's getting inducted. I missed that, man. That and Booker cool. T is going to bring her in. That's even more cool. I like that. Very cool. So who's what? There's there's three or four people being inducted now. It's. I think we're at three. Okay. I think we're at three. And wait, what did I say, Nadula? What? It was a botch. No, no, I didn't say that. What we said, what, wait, no. What did we say? I know it wasn't that. I didn't even say shit about the match. I just said that I don't want to see it. 
I said it was like overstimulated. What Billy said was that we kind of saw a little bit of it in the Madison Square Garden stuff, but they haven't fought yet. Like that, we haven't seen them fight in a long time. So, yeah, mm. let's 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 actually see it go in and see a twenty minute match. I'd love to see it. Yeah, it, it needs yeah. to happen. I don't. Since Paul Heyman did not turn on Roman Reigns again. Yeah, no, when did that happen? No, he didn't. That he did just not tweeted happen. out a cartoon picture of yeah. He of, was screaming uh, for his wife and told belts. Brock that he loved him before Brock ripped his head off him at Madison Square Garden. That happened. He was saying whatever he had to say oh, to get him to not chair. be killed. Yes. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, like, grabbed his hair. Like, yeah, it was about to be over for Paul. That's what He was happened. trying to he pop got... him like a zit, man. He yeah, was, like, exactly. squeezing him. Yeah, he was trying to squeeze his skull in, and he was going to do it. Like a fucking <laughs> Cadbury oh, egg. Man, I laughed. That was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. You want to get into the ratings? Hell yeah, man. But yeah, that's the order for the Undertaker Hall of Fame. Undertaker Invader, yeah. Yeah. That, that was the other two. Okay. So there are three. Yeah. Ooh. But let's do I, it, yeah, man. I missed that. So, fight fans, here at Take Into the Ring, we like to give each fight card a fight card rating. So we have five for Fight Forever. And you got four. This is awesome. And you got three. You still got it. And then two. What? And then one. Worst of all, boring. Check us out. We're going to be way more entertaining than whatever they put on television. So, mm. Tijon, what would you give this episode? Solid four. Solid four? I was yeah. entertained the whole way. I had yeah. a great time. It was awesome. I think this was definitely a good episode. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a four. This one did have a lot of replay. It had a lot of recap and promo in it. But the matches were good, man. Even the the silly kind of Queen Zelina and Liv Morgan was entertaining. It made oh, me yeah. laugh. It was good. Dude, you know? Queen Zelina can brawl. I did not know this. I was I'm pleasantly surprised at her that was skill. A cool so match. yeah, I wasn't bored at all. There's and a lot of silly, drop. some shenanigans, but mm. no, I had fun. I had a lot of fun with this this event. Yeah, this this was yeah, a good better. one. We got to see a lot of stuff. It was a good episode on the road to WrestleMania. A um, lot of storyline unpack. Yes. Yeah, that's what's just good. The KO and Seth Rollins stuff is cool. The Edge stuff was great. Love that suit, man. I got to find out where he got yeah, that. Man. I want that suit. Yeah. <laughs> a light but, four. I can see why you would say a light four. I do understand that. I was a little bit closer to three, but again, I mean, this was solid all the way through. Yeah. This was, this was a good episode. If, if there was a bit, of, a bit more of some duds or something, I would have said it was a three. If I saw some 24-7 bullshit, I would have gave it a three. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest. I mean, if I Omos saw that, it was a great a match. You know, we got to see Omos. He's getting better. We're almost seeing him every week now. I'm cool with that. Let's Let's see more Omos. Alpha Academy, RK Bro, and Street Profits. Good stuff, man. I mean, this was a good episode. 3.7. Yeah. 3.7, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Not, I mean, TJ and I both said it. We're trying to give solid ratings, not the halves anymore. Yeah. So, honestly, when I that's was finished, I was too I, easy. It's yeah, a cop out. I was going to say three. When I was finished watching, I was going to say three. But, you know, when you sit through and you talk about it and you really kind of analyze it and talk about the episode, it does get a little bit better sometimes. Sometimes yeah. it gets worse. Sometimes, yeah, I sometimes go you get, down. There was, there's been a few where I was like, oh, this was a four. And then I talk and I'm like, that wasn't a four. <laughs> this, was, this, was, this was a bet. Yeah. This sometimes was a you got to be real. You got to be yeah. honest. You know? Main event. Yeah. The Sonya one, I don't know where she's coming out. She's, you know, I didn't yeah. see this coming. But I, I do was silly. Like Demon Joker fixed it. I like this. I got to bring that up. Paul Heyman may, oh. may betray. That's a long game. That is a that long, is a long play. Con. And that I is do a like long, that. Long. Yeah. That would make me. That would make me see that match because that's awesome. That would be fantastic. Wow. That's a very huh. interesting play. It would make for a good WrestleMania. That's for dang sure. Yeah. Because I love seeing Heyman like flip like that. You know, the double crosses back and forth is so entertaining, and he's the best at it. Yeah. I don't believe you. Is that true? Um, when did that happen? On NXT, it's gonna be tonight. No, I've seen every episode of NXT. Exactly, I've been watching. I literally do the review with you. Yeah, A Kid's gonna be on tonight. That's gonna be a good one. Keep an eye he's on. Doing, yeah, oh, he's doing one. a Miz TV with Dolph Ziggler. Brad At NXT. You must have some crazy goddamn news outlets in what? India. Where did you get this, Brad? <laughs> right. 
Yeah. I haven't heard that. I would have definitely gone, man. It's too late now. I didn't sign up. Oh, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm swamped with the Billy though. stuff, man. I got to get caught up. Yeah, man. No, that's all good, bro. But yeah, man, that's all I got for this episode, man. Anything yeah. else you want to add? No, that was it, man. Good episode. So definitely. Guys, check us out. You know, make sure you check out our sweet merch down below. We got some new stuff for the fight kitties, too. It's awesome. They announced oh, on yeah, Twitter. Bro. Twitter, always with the Twitter. Galaxy, <laughs> where you at? On. It's on Twitter. It's always if it's on Twitter, Damn. it's gotta be true. Hell, hell yeah. <laughs> Twitter makes everything true. You know that. Acknowledge me. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good Damn. stuff. I gotta I gotta start following more stuff on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter, man. You I have just... to Twitter is the thing, man. Twitter is the no. thing. I know. You'll get stuff before anybody else. I'm telling you. Apparently. You have to do it. You Jeez. have to do it. But <laughs> Yeah, man. Follow these handles down below. Instagram. We are on Twitter, believe it or not. Yeah. We'll get more active on everything. But, you know, as always, like, comment, subscribe, everything, bro. Like, yeah. we do a lot for you guys, and we have no signs of stopping in sight. So, you know, keep following us. Keep watching us. And until next time, guys, this is Tijon. And is Billy here? Keep Don't it real. stop believing.